in 2030, communication by words will be deemed inefficient. People will communicate with photos only. Speaking of second generation pro owners, how do you grade Chris Illich? Uh, not great so far. I mean, on one hand, you've got the Stevie Y thing, cool. On another, the baseball team seems to be in a very dark place. I don't, look, here's the problem. I don't trust Alabama, okay? I just don't think Alabama is going to get this done. That's how I feel. That's not a personal attack in any way, shape, or form. I'm not impressed. I don't like what I see, and I think they're in a lot of trouble. It's not about the losing. It's about the fact that this is Al's fifth year in the job, and he's yet to produce a single everyday position player. By any way, shape, or form. International dollars, draft, trade, signing, nothing. I mean, the best you've got right now, the only thing you have to show for all those moves you made is the Paul Lugo. I mean, Franklin Perez, he can't stay healthy. What, was it Jake Rogers? You know, a, a primarily defensive-oriented catcher who's having a decent year? Okay, I mean, that. No, man. I made the example the other day. I mean, the Yankees were more, inter more interested in the international dollars that were attached to Luke Voigt than anything else. Who the hell was Luke Voigt when they got him? Now Luke Voigt is their everyday first baseman and will be for the next three, four years. Unseated a big Yankee prospect in Greg Bird. I mean, I just... Chris Hillich will ultimately be graded by how long he gives a deal and how this record goes. I think that's fair. But it's tough. I mean, rebuilds are ugly. I know that. Rebuilds take a while. I get that. That doesn't mean I have to like where it is. I'm a little nervous. I'm a lot nervous, to be quite honest. Um, if, if my wife's sister posts the happiest pics on Facebook almost daily while then texting my wife she can't stand her husband and he's <laughs> You've just encapsulated social media. Uh, saw the clip of LeBron's kid ranting, funny and entertaining. It's a kid just having fun playing. Um, okay, look, I'm, I'm not trying to be that guy, like the old guy in the opera house, you know, Muppet Babies. Dude, you can't be on video screaming hoes, bitches, cuss words, and come on, dude. Seriously, I don't care what the intent is. That can't be the version of you that's presented as a 14-year-old kid, as the son of LeBron James. I, it just can't be it. Can't be. Constant struggle, must set limits on the phones. You must constantly educate and check. That sounds exhausting. Enjoy that, Roberto. Um, quick note on the Michigan basketball stuff. This is another example for me of this, this being a disaster. I've told you since day one. I, I, I understood why you wanted Juwan Howard, because it sounds good. But look, start here. When Ed Cooley got his extension from Providence, I said to you, there is no way Providence gave that extension without you offering that job. Ah, uh, everybody makes fun of mine. Oh, Sparty. Ah, uh, we didn't offer him the job. Okay. Now Ed Cooley's on the record saying he turned you down. On the record. Then, the other point I made to you, if you were gonna hire Juwan Howard, who has a very thin resume, who has no experience as a head coach in college basketball or pro, you better do whatever it takes to keep Yakima, your defensive coordinator and really your primary recruiter, right? News today, Luke Yaklage going to Texas to be on Shaka Smart's staff. Guys, I'm telling you. I'm not going to change my opinion unless I'm proven wrong here. I, I think this is, this is disastrous. You went from one of the 10 best coaches in college basketball to a dude with no experience. You went from having one of the better assistant coaches, certainly in the Big Ten, probably in America, and you've lost him. Yachlidge was a big part of the identity of Michigan the last couple years defensively. He's gone. Your offensive tactician is gone. Damn near every tie with 2019 and 2020 recruits are gone. And what's Juwan's plan to replace him, Sully? Well, 
it's going to be uh, what Sadie Washington and maybe Mike Miller. Sounds like. That's the Mike Miller's the rumor that's been floating around today. A G League head coach who wants to go to college basketball to be an assistant. <laughs> Will help me with that? What sense then? Nick Nurse was a G League coach. He's head coach of the Raptors. Quinn Snyder was a G League coach. He's head coach of the Jazz. G League could be a route to a gig. Why would you go back to college to be an assistant? Why, if you're Mike Miller and every day of your adult life has been spent in the National Basketball Association, why would you go to college? The track record of NBA guys going back to college and succeeding is really bad. I'll say it to you again. Patrick Ewing went home, not great. Clyde Drexler went home, not great. Mike Dunleavy went home, not great. Chris Mullen went home, not great. Guys, I'm not making these things up. You're going to have a staff that has next to no experience recruiting, fundraising, running a program, the college game itself. I, I, don't, I don't like any of it. And by the way, what happened to Ward Manuel when he said college experience was his number one priority in the hiring process and then like 10 minutes later hired Juwan Howard? It's got all the earmarkings of a bad hire. And you guys can do whatever you want with selective memory and you can pretend that the Fab Five wasn't a disgrace to college basketball and you can pretend it wasn't a disgrace to the University of Michigan. You can pretend and reshape history however you want. Maybe you'll even put the banners back up. I don't know. I don't care what. I'll just tell you this. I don't think anybody else in the Big Ten is going to lose any sleep over Juan Howard and possibly Mike Miller coming in. You had over 300 Division I programs. You couldn't find somebody with some experience. You couldn't find somebody on the come up. You couldn't make an investment in your basketball program. Instead, you decided we're going to basically cut B line salary in half and hire Juan. Okay. That, to me, basically says it all about what Michigan thinks about the basketball program. That they only care about football. And I look, they'll win the press conference tomorrow. You know what that's going to be. It'll be everybody in the room forgetting about the Fab Five and all the bad stuff. And how it sent the school into a 20-year tailspin. And now we'll try to go back and retroactively celebrate this game. I mean, hell, do yourself a favor. Why not here's the official back? Put him on the bench. Assistant coach with the Clippers. 
the Wizards and most recently the Knicks. Translation, nobody's going to ever offer me a head coaching job. Yeah. May as well go to college. He's a career assistant. That's what he is. He doesn't look to be a head coach anywhere. What's his college experience? Uh, he has none other than playing Perfect. college. Perfect. Perfect. So we got a head coach with no experience, an assistant with no experience, and a second. And a, what, what are they doing? They're a top 10 program, top 15 program. Well, better you than me. I have to trust that it works. I love you, David. I appreciate it. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Tito's handmade vodka. Michigan fans are probably going to need a lot of it for next season. Gluten free. Been over twenty years. They're still kicking ass and taking names. They're doing it in Texas, the, way, the place it started. And Tito Beverage started the whole damn thing on twelve acres of land, and now it's an empire. And guess what? They're winning all the judges' choice awards. The double gold medal at the World Spirits Competition. Distillery of the Year. Uh, the Roberto Beauchene Invitational Triple Gold Medal for Best Tasting Vodka. It's all there. Modest paper label because you're paying for what's in the bottle. Tito'sVodka.com, recipes, videos, and more of the story. And, of course, 80 Proof Tito's Handmade Vodka, distilled and bottled in Austin, Texas. Crafted to be savored responsibly. It's time to plan your summer company picnic, family party, or celebration for the new graduate. Serve your group award-winning barbecue from Sloan's. They've got you covered. What are you waiting for? Call 313-309-7560 or visit slowsbarbecue.com for details. This is Jim Rome with the CBS Sports Minute. Lost in the shuffle of all the post-Memorial Day news was a tweet from the Oakland Raiders, and I quote, we have signed free agent guard Richie Incognito. Wait, what? Yes, that Richie Incognito. They then went on to list a number of his accomplishments. However, there were a number that were not included, like the time he was feuding with Minnesota Vikings, or the time he underwent an involuntary psychiatric evaluation in Florida after an incident at a gym. It included him allegedly throwing a dumbbell at somebody, and no mention of the bullying scandal either, or any number of other incidents. Raiders GM Mike Mayock explained the move by saying, quote, can't have all Boy Scouts, end quote. I'm sorry, what? Not to state the obvious, but let's state the obvious. This is a league that'll give Richie Incognito countless chances after everything he's done, but Colin Kaepernick never got another look. I'm Jim Rome. Finding it tougher and tougher to get to the grocery store? Then let Walmart do it for you. Simply make your list, set a time for free pickup or delivery, and then go about your day. Walmart Associates will pick the best items for you, including fresh produce, and get it ready. It's quick, it's easy, it's convenient, and satisfaction is guaranteed or you get your money back. Simply download the Walmart Grocery app to get started. Use my code, WOWFRESH, and get $10 off your first order. It's just a $50 minimum purchase and doesn't expire until December 31st, 2019. Small fee applies. Hi, I'm Jay Farner, CEO of Quicken Loans. 30% of Americans who are planning home improvements of $5,000 or more will pay for those renovations with a high-interest credit card. That may not be a great idea. A better idea may be to take cash out of your home with a Quicken Loans 30-year fixed rate mortgage. The rate today on our 30-year fixed rate mortgage is 4.375%, APR 4.65%. Call us today at 800-QUICKEN or go to rocketmortgage.com. Rate subject to change. A 2.13% fee to receive this discounted rate. Call for cost information and conditions. Equal housing lender. License in all 50 states. NMLS number 3030. I love my city. This is my home. I grew up with that blue-collar assembly line mentality. You get up, you go to work, and you work hard. That's what makes us superior. Superior pricing, superior service, and superior selection. That's what you can expect from the one and only Superior Buick GMC. Like this month's recent 2019 Buick Encore Preferred for only $159 a month. That's right. We made the 2019 Encore Preferred and Gator deal for only $159 a month with $9.95 down. And don't forget, because we have one of the largest inventories in the world,
not the Mike Miller they're going after because the Mike Miller of bad tattoo fame is an assistant with Penny Hardaway in Memphis at one of the dirtiest programs in the country. Yeah, so the Mike, Got it. The Mike Miller that's rumored, they said Mike Miller, you know, some other NBA personnel guy is rumored to be a head coach, or excuse me, rumored to be an assistant coach under Jawan Howard potentially. G League Coach of the Year, Mike Miller, in 2016 of the, uh, what is it, Westchester Knicks. Oh, we, of course. Who doesn't know the Westchester Knicks? So this Mike Miller, the G League coach, he's also coached to Western Illinois, Kansas State, Eastern okay. Illinois. Uh, he has some college experience. The player, Mike Miller, the former Miami Heat, yeah, is the assistant coach under Penny Hardaway in Memphis. Yeah, where Penny hired another AAU coach, and it's just getting all the players he coached at said AAU program. Yeah, it's a real legit way of doing things. Plus, Memphis has been dirty. So I, I, don't, I don't care about that. Yeah. Um, tickets are actually coming in. Mike, I'm a Michigan grad. The Howard hire has set us back. There goes the developing rivalry with State. Mike, I'm a Michigan grad. This is a worst-case scenario for the program. Uh, people thinking the Fab Five is a recruiting notch is stupid. None of these kids were even alive. I still find it hard to believe Michigan spent 30 years living down the Fab Five just to bring it back.
as Double D likes to say. He took the Tigers for a unit. A 3 nothing snooze fest W. Sully, delight the masses. Yeah, so we're going to do uh, two units on plus 150 tomorrow that all Fab Five members will be at Juwan Howard's press conference. Yeah, he's going to do two units minus 1,000. Wojo sprouts an erection at the presser. Roughly 8, maybe 10, 12 inches. And Juwan?
yards out in Baltimore. Detroit, though, entering the contest, looking for their first set of back-to-back -back wins since they won three in a row in the middle of April. Ryan Carpenter will take them out against John Means. We'll have it for you right here with the tickets starting at 7.05. saying the Niners are simply not in consideration. If those reports are true, three teams remain. The Raiders, the Redskins, the Lions. And here's my question. As a fan, do you even want to see it? Uh, look, for us, it's the only entertainment. Thing. Hard Knocks will provide something. At a minimum, it's good audio for Roberto to make a song. Honestly, as a fan, I don't want to see it. And here's why. I think the Lions are boring. Your quarterback never says a thing. It's the Patriot way. Your coach has no person. You know, Rod Wood on a golf cart doesn't do anything. You don't have any star play. It's not Scenes, uh, look at, yeah, at, at what they do. Losing. Oh yeah, I mean, I mean, we just watch them lose on the field. At least show us what how they lose. At least show us how they prepare and when what happens in that facility. Get a little behind the scenes look. Expose it a little bit. I think it'd be great. I think it'd be awesome to see if you know they're really running wind sprints after practice or or you know how their their coaching techniques are or whatever. Especially because you know that Quinn and Patricia don't want it. So if they are forced to do. 
do hard knocks. I think it'd be fun to watch. I, I think it'd be fun to finally see what actually goes on behind the scenes. But how game. much do you think you get based on the Patriot way, based on how guarded they are? And even your quarterback is clearly not the same guy publicly as he is privately. By all accounts, privately, huge personality, great guy, fun guy. Publicly, stiff as a board. Mike, I just don't know what you think you're going to see. Well, you're going to see more access simply because they're mandated. But what would, it, what would the access garner? What would it get us? Like, what players on the Lions are interesting? TJ Hawkinson? Oh, I can't wait to talk to Frank Ragnow? I think you could see some behind-the-scenes stuff with Stafford or with Carrion or with, with Darius Slay, stuff like that. Yeah, but nobody can understand what Slay no. is saying because he's from the deep south and talks so fast. I, Remember what did Slay say? I'd like to him, him and Galladay, you know, talking talking junk to each other on the field, something like that. That'd be cool. David, go ahead. How much can you get from that, though? Okay. I see. Here up. Darius Slay has a Jordan collection. Okay, so you show that once. You show it every episode now? That's all you have. He's the only personality on the team, and you really don't want to see that every episode, so you have nothing else. Like, Baker Mayfield had a big personality. Yes. The QBRV, the, 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 the attitude. And, was, he, he, and he was a backup quarterback then. Right, but it was an interesting story, it right? It was. Like, there's, Stafford's the most uninteresting guy on earth. Yeah, I don't need it. I don't need it. At all. The most personality I've seen from Stafford came last week when Barstool had that video of him chugging the beer because of what Aaron Rodgers did. That's the first thing I've ever seen personality-wise from him. I, well, you're not going to well, get anything about, on well, hard knocks. Remember when he was mic'd up against the Browns? Yeah, week, week, ten, ten years ago. Yeah, come on now. Oh, my God. I want to see more. I want to see Stafford chugging beer on hard knocks or something like that. No, you, know what, you know what I think it is, though, Sully? You're in love with the idea of Stafford. You're not actually in love with Stafford. You're in love with, oh, man, we're going to learn all about our quarterback and he's going to be so hype, and this is going to be unbelievable. And you know what's going to happen? He's, you're going to be bored. But the thing is, I watch Hard Knocks every single year, and I enjoy watching it, and I've always thought, hey, let's see the Lions on here one of these years. Because sure, well, you might get some coach speak or, or whatever, you know, you talk about Patriot Way, they might not give you a ton. You're still going to get that behind-the-scenes look on how the Lions actually run business. And that's something you never get to see because they do always have the facility on lockdown, especially with Patricia and Quinn. So if they're forced, mandated to open it up and say, nope, there's going to be cameras. Guess what, Bob? Your office is going to be mic'd up. I think that'd be fun to see. I I just, okay. Well, I'll leave it to the people. 248-539-9797. I'd like to see what they have to say about it. I don't even know if Lion Fan cares. I hear Joe's on a sale. He wants to rap about it. Let's go. Joey, what's going on, bud? Hey. The Raiders would be much more intriguing on right. HBO. Uh, why is even HBO even like thinking about the Lions? Are they trying to ruin another show just like they did with Game of Thrones? It's kind of ridiculous. And the other thing I want to know is with Patricia, does Patricia want HBO there? How much say does like say a uh, no? He's publicly said he doesn't. Any? No, he's publicly said he doesn't want to be on there. I think Rod Wood even made a joke about wanting uh, saying the Raiders would be a good candidate. No, they don't want it. Nobody wants it. No, no, I agree with that. I just of the three teams, don't you think the Lions are the least interested? Here's like, oh, cool. Here's some more running plays up the middle. Like, I don't, I don't understand like what's intriguing this year about the Lions. They did nothing that crazy in the draft or free agency, so I don't understand. I'd no. much rather watch the no, even, that's a time bomb. Even the Redskins, you got a rookie quarterback in Haskins, you've got a volatile owner, you got a coach on the hot seat, you've got personalities there, you've got storylines there, right? I don't know what we have to offer. See, I, I feel like I'm on a total island right now. Am I the only one that wants yes. to see the Lions on Hard Knocks? Well, yes. I mean, I'm stunned if that's the case. If there's no other Lions fans that would actually say, I'd like to see what the hell goes on at training camp. Let's see what Chris stunned. has to say about it. Chris, how you doing? Hey, how's it going, my Good, buddy.
team meetings with the Lions are probably like office space with Bill Lombard. Well, I want to see that. I want to maybe yeah. provide some insight to why they're losing so much. I need you to go ahead and in on Sunday.
just for one reason. Is Stafford a leader and do his teammates have respect for him? You think Hard Knocks will tell you that? show behind the scenes stuff that would be just fine they've like had what they've had teams over the years that had no business being on hard knocks on hard knocks yeah everybody really cares what kenny galladay has to say like, there'd be plenty of plenty of things they could feature let's go to brian and pontiac up next hi brian oh i want him on hard knocks okay go ahead I, well only out of a sense of morbid curiosity you know how you see that car accident getting ready to happen you know something about to happen you just want to know all the things that's working in it. I just want to see where they make this massive mistake where they cut the guy that they should have kept and he goes on to become like a superstar in some other team. Maybe it's because they done ticked me off for so many years. But I want, I want to see these losers show why they're losers. Am I wrong? No, no, you're not. But again, you also don't agree with Sully. Sully is out of the goodness of his heart wants to see his team. You want to do it because it's a car crash for you. some sort of extra behind the scenes look and insight into how they actually conduct business inside Allen Park because it does seem like a compound sometimes where you never get any look inside of it. Yeah, I, I, I'm all for it. All for it. Yeah, I love, I love seeing you get it about this. I want to be fun to watch. I watch it every single year and I've always thought to myself, hey, let me see the Lions one of these years. Yeah, maybe we could draw some out of it. As a fan, um, you, you, you 
you could never put the lines on there. It wouldn't bother me. They do not have polarizing They don't have stories that people care. I just I don't. I think Stafford's one of the most polarizing players in the league, but it's a total love hate with Stafford. Yeah, but I think it's there's nothing there. Maybe we'd see him on the golf course. Maybe we'd you know get some other uh, great some yes. other fun stuff about him. Fabulous. Right, we get to see that par three or whatever they have on their practice facility. We want to see those shots on hard knocks. That's oh what we God. want. All right, take it easy. I mean, we don't need to. See their ball breaking people. Stop calling up and saying you want to see them. It's boring. We got a Mike in Westland, 971. Hi, Mikey. Hey guys, thanks for taking this. Uh, I agree with Cooley just because of the fact that I want to see what this whole Patriot way is about, and I want that first hand look at it. I mean, look, you said it. I can't argue it. I'm not going to knock you for it. I'm just fearful it would be massively disappointing. Well, even think about last year. What did we hear in training camp last year? We heard, hey, Derek, Patricia's Patricia in the Patriot way. It's rubbing guys the wrong way. He's making them run after practice. There's a lot of tension at training camp. It'd be a huge storyline this year. Is that going to continue? Are guys going to start buying in? No, Is it still going to be that tension? He already pivoted. You saw the difference in him the first couple weeks, and then he started being Johnny lovey-dovey and all that stuff. You don't think that was calculated? You don't think they know they had to change his image? He had to change his image? He was going to lose cabin pressure of that thing right off the top. And oh, by the way, he still went 6 and 10, so let's not get carried away. But, I mean, come on. No, yeah, but that's what I'd love to see. If he's yelling at players, if he's making them run, if there's veterans getting rubbed the wrong way, it'd be interesting to watch. 248-539-9797. More of your phone calls coming up. We have the top 25, under 25. Sully, you want to stay timely on this? Yes, please. Okay. All right. Uh, this is why I ask. We will do that next. Get back to your calls. And then Wojo, I believe, Sola. Yep. Stunning. 97.1. Well, Joe Randazzo's Fruit and Vegetable Market, Detroit, Dearborn Heights, Westland, and Roseville. Got some great specials right now. And you guys know the deal by now. They're not like other markets locally. They have fantastic prices and the best quality around as well, including ton of specials right now. Corn, six for a dollar. Tomatoes, 89 cents a pound. Medium eggs, 50 cents per dozen. And yes, their nursery is open. Got plenty of hanging baskets and stuff like that. Plenty of flowers. And of course, if you're a local restaurant or banquet hall, wholesale delivery unit is the way to go. Free delivery, over 250 local restaurants, and it's a great opportunity to take advantage of their prices. Joe Randazzo's Fruit and Vegetable Market, Detroit, Dearborn Heights, Westland and Roseville. Visit one of their locations, stop by, and you're going to be surprised at how great their prices are and how much good quality products you can get. Joe Randazzo's, check them out today.
going on with every aspect of my business is crucial. To do that, you need the right systems in place. You want to look at your finances and accounting and get real-time information. See what's going on with your customers and your employees and get up to the minute sales and cash reports. Without that vision, you can only play defense instead of looking for your next win. Introducing the number one business management system. It's called NetSuite by Oracle. Go to netsuite.com slash radio to learn more about Magic's secret to business success. You can also download a free guide called Seven Key Strategies to Grow Your Profits. That's netsuite.com slash radio for your free guide and to see how Magic made magic. Go to netsuite.com slash radio. Right now at T-Mobile, get an awesome iPhone XR on us when you bring your family over and trade your old device. Because whether you have mom, dad, or a friend on your mind, it's a gift so old and brilliant, you'll want to keep it for yourself. Most importantly, it's on us in six vibrant colors. Plus, with unlimited everything from T-Mobile, the awesome iPhone XR will have everyone snapping, streaming, and sharing to their heart's content all year long. But don't wait. For a limited time, so visit the store or call 1 800 T Mobile to get iPhone 10R on us. Congested customers using more than 50 gigs per month, dangerous for new speeds due to prioritization. With new authority behind the 24 month income credits for one qualified customers plus tax. Qualified trading, coordinated service, and finance agreement required. Contact us before canceling our credit stop. The remaining balance due 64 gigs, zero down plus 31.25 per month. The 24 months free credit price 749.99, 0% APR, one off the per account.
24, you got Bears linebacker Roquan Smith. Boom. Total stud muffin. Even higher. No holdout this year. Full season, full implementation into the defense. Uh, I think he's an unbelievable prospect. I absolutely love him. Yes, boom. Benito. 23, but, Juju. But, but Pat Shermer will be gone. Yeah. And we're not doing coaches. No, not yet. Juju uh, Smith-Schuster, Steelers wide receiver. I think that is insanely too low. I think Juju Smith-Schuster is one of the top seven wide receivers in the game. I think he's a fabulous player, really good kid, mature kid. He, he goes to center stage this year. I think he's at the end of next year. He will be in the top ten of players under the age of 25. So much. 22 Bills corner, Tredavious White. He's 24 years old. I'm neither here nor there. Past two seasons, picked off six passes. I know. I know. Uh, Mike, this is where Boomer Bust hurts me. But what if I just think he'll be in that same range? And he's a good ball player, but I don't know how much better he can be. I don't know what more he can do. What do you make of this at 21? I think this kid's going to be a stud. Combo Cowboys linebacker Leighton Van Der Esch. Oh, monster. The sideline to sideline speed when you pair him with Jalen Smith. It's scary. Plus, the dude wears a neck roll. Yeah. You can't argue with that. Boom. We got. Uh, and by the way, make fun of Jerry Jones. You do whatever you want. I do it often. But they have hammered the draft. They have hammered it. They have nailed so many draft picks. He's great. Wow, but they've done a good job. Christian McCaffrey, Panthers running back. Wow, does that seem low? If you would have asked me where's McCaffrey on this list, I would have said top 10. Yep. Put together a couple incredible years. Uh, he's in incredible shape. I don't know if you've seen some of the training videos and, yep. and kind of what he's he's remaking his body. Uh, I would say boom again, which means we're going to run into a bunch of guys. Ooh, I'm going to yeah. say bust. There's but a lot of, lot of names still left on this list. I just think McCaffrey is an unbelievable player. And you know what? He doesn't get any credit. Three down guy. He catches. Saquon Barkley, where do you think he is on this list? I, that's way too low. To me, I think Saquon would have an argument being the number one guy overall. He's 19. Yeah, I, I don't agree with that. I think Saquon Barkley, barring a health disaster, is, is headed for Canton. I think he's a Hall of Fame talent. I think he's the best young running back I've seen since Adrian Peterson. I think he's he's everything. And unfortunately, he's going to waste his prime years on a bad Giants team. But there's nothing I can do about it. Benito. But Saquon would Saquon already, to me, was top five. Yep. Oh, well. So you got another two running backs at 18 and 17. You have Alvin Kamara, Saints at number 18. Oh, stop. And Zeke Elliott, 17. Boston, all right, Boston bust. How about that? Now, I like Kamara, but he sure as hell ain't going up that list. And if you if, if you allowed me to draft Barkley, McCaffrey, Kamara, Kamara is the third guy I take of those two, okay? Second of all, Zeke, I think he's at the apex. How much more tread on the tire is there? Plus the personality issues, the off the field stuff. I'll say bust. 16, you have Steelers Edge, TJ Watt. Ah, oh, come on, all right, now, now hold on. Now hold on, David, hold on. 13 sacks in the second season. I understand that, I don't have a problem with that. Show me. Back it up this season, I'll shoot him up the rankings. But I can't put him ahead of some of the names you have just given. And they still got another 15 guys to go. Right. Watt is not a franchise guy. Barkley is. Zeke, is. you know what I mean? McCaffrey is. That's a little much on Watt for me. So 15 and, four, 15 and 14. Pair of Colts. At 15, you have Darius Leonard, linebacker. And at 14, you have Quentin Nelson, their guard. Wow. Quentin Nelson might be the best guard in football. He was the best guard prospect in maybe 20 years. Uh, I can't knock that. Why would he not get better? I don't have an answer. He's such a scary man. Plays with just such a physicality. Just nasty. He changed that whole line. So, okay, I'll stay with that. Boy, Darius Leonard is a kid you want to root for. If you don't know about his story, go read it. But just Darius Leonard was all 
Want some chicken nuggets? Question mark. with Dr. Stanley for $29. You learn about your body, how to turn it into a fat-burning machine, and get the results you want. Call Dr. Stanley, have him talk to you. Again, body composition analysis, normally $100 bill. And tell him you heard it here, you get it for $29. It's 1-800-IDEAL-U. That's 1-800-IDEAL-U. Dr. Stanley, the Ideal U Health Center. Results vary based on physical health and adherence to the program that weight loss guarantees provide.
break that got him referred to a mental facility and an arrest for threatening to shoot people. He's intermittently a stud and a study in quasi-psychosis. And you know what? He sounds just about perfect for a head coach like John Gruden, who loves players who can walk in and command respect. Incognito will do that, even if it's laced with a little bit of fear. But that's okay, because Gruden is a little off the wall, too. I'm Tiki Barber.